I can't even remember the last time I sat down and did a Korean beauty haul with you guys. And today I partnered with Stylevana. They sent me some of their best-selling Korean beauty products. I figured what I'd go ahead and do is do a little bit of a haul, first impressions, pull the products out of the box, and then throughout the next week or two, I'll go ahead and update you guys on my thoughts while I use the products and give you kind of live reactions as I integrate them into my skincare routine. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Like I said, <laughs> I got a package here from Stylevana and they did give me a discount code which I'll go ahead and put on screen here as well as in the description box below if you guys want to check out any of the products that I share in this video. So the first product I'm pulling out is actually from a brand I have not tried a ton of from before but I've heard a lot of really good things and that is Swanee Coco. So Swanee Coco from my understanding is a brand that specializes in using natural and purest ingredients and so from what I saw 90 to 100 percent of the ingredients in their products are natural ingredients which I think is really good, especially for me who has sensitive skin. I have been much more weary of ingredients in my skincare products. So I try to use products that actually care about the quality of their ingredients where they're sourcing them. And so Swanee Coco sounds like they're right up my alley. And this is the Biopeptine Fermentation Peptine Eye Care Cream. And I have been on the hunt for a really good eye cream. I can start to see the fine lines forming. <laughs> under my eyes and so I want to make sure I'm taking care of that delicate area and since that tends to be the most sensitive area I'm excited to try this out and I love fermented skincare the benefit of fermented skincare is the ingredients are broken down into a smaller form and so it can absorb into your skin more effectively okay I see some other Swanee Coco products in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull those out and let's go ahead and look at all those so next we have the fermentation snail skin toner currently I do have one snail product in my skincare routine but it is literally on its last leg Egg. and I always like to have a snail product in my skincare routine because it's really good at helping with irritation, inflammation, and helping with the skin recover, again, which is something I feel like I always need, and so I'm excited to try this. Let's go ahead and look at the texture of it. I'm like intrigued right off the bat. Ooh, okay, so it is a bit of a thicker consistency, if you could see that running down my hand there. It smells just like clean, if that makes sense, and it just like turned into water which absorbed into the back of my hand, if you can see that. So it feels very lightweight, yet it has a little bit of body to really feel like it's more moisturizing and hydrating on the skin. And so I'm really excited to try that out. It feels really nice so far. I've been really enjoying this fermentation snail skin toner from Swanee Coco. And not only have I just been like patting this into my skin after I wash my face, but I've also just been using it as like a swipe on my skin. So I've just been like, putting it onto a cotton pad like that, kind of letting it absorb a little bit onto the cotton pad, and then swiping that on my skin. That way, my dry skin, I'm not stripping it too much by like overwashing it in the morning. It just keeps my skin a bit fresher in the morning, but also leaves my skin feeling more moisturized. That basically all went right onto my skin. This looks fancy. Also from Swanee Coco, we have the Biotherapy First Essence 99%. I actually was just looking this up. This is actually a Glow Pick Award winner, which I have done videos on in the past. So I always love trying out products that have won Glow Pick Awards because a lot of times those are taken from real consumers. And so I feel like it's a testament to products and how good they are. So I will be definitely trying this out. I love essences. And it seems like they have a lot of fermented skincare in their product line. So we are doing very well so far. Stylevana is like nailing it. We also have this Wani Coco Hydrocolloid Patches. These are the ADF Hydrocolloid Dressing. And I really burn through Hydrocolloid Patches, I feel like. So I can always use these. And these are actually for trouble and scar care, which is why I use the hydrocolloid patches. So anytime I have a breakout, even if it's just to protect the skin, I basically keep a hydrocolloid patch on a pimple. I even had like a little kitty scratch here on the side of my face recently, like last week. And I just kept a hydrocolloid patch on it for like a week straight. I just changed it out whenever it seemed to fill up. And it basically kept it from scarring and forming a scab. Why I don't have any red mark there. And I always use these types of things. I, like I said, burn through them. Ooh, okay. We have the Swanee Coco, the Pure Hinoki Cypress Scalp Nourishing Shampoo. 
I actually just got my hair done and color treated and I'm trying to like keep it nice and healthy because I've been introducing a little bit, you can't tell now, but I have been going through a lightening process. I just had sky kind of darken it up for my wedding. But because of that, my hair is fairly damaged. And so I always enjoy trying out products like this that I can see if it helps bring my hair back to life because right now it's feeling a little dead. So the next product we have is from Hemish. This is the Matcha Biome Intensive Repair Cream Probiotic Moisturizer. I have actually not tried this yet, but I really love Hemish skincare products. It seems like it's very good for sensitive skin as well. And this, since it has the matcha, I'm assuming it's gonna be rich in antioxidants and really help with the recovery of the skin. And so I'm really looking forward to trying this out as well. It is, woo, another good morning. I just got out of the shower, so my skin's nice and clean. I need some moisturizer because it's feeling a bit dry, so I thought I'd try the Hemish Matcha Biome Intensive Repair Cream. It has probiotics in it, so it's gonna help rebalance my skin out. And so, let's see what the texture of this is like. There's no scent to it, so I believe it's fragrance-free. Feels like a nice, thick moisturizer if you can see that, which I really enjoy. I'm just gonna, ooh, it's like kind of balmy. Oh, I like this. I don't know if you guys can see how much more <laughs> lively my skin looks now that I've got some moisture back into it. We have a couple of different sun protection products which I I always love trying, and this is from Beauty of Joe Sun. This one is the Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotic. It has an SPF 50 plus, PA Quadruple Plus. Another brand that I really enjoyed a lot of is Beauty of Joe Sun. This is the Relief Rice Plus Probiotics, SPF 50, PA Quadruple Plus. I have not tested this out yet, and I've been really excited about this because I've been a big fan of Beauty of Joe Sun and their products. I like how they keep everything very simple. Let's see what the texture of this is like. Ooh, looks like this. Oh, okay. Feels very lightweight. Again, no discernible scent to it. And on top of that moisturizer, it's laying really nicely. I usually always moisturize my skin before I apply sun protection anyways because I have dry skin and I don't want to get flaky skin throughout the day. Ooh, hoo -hoo, my skin is looking so much glowier. I can like see the glow <laughs> in the viewfinder. I'm honestly just gonna leave the house like this. My skin looks so healthy right now. Feels really good too. With another brand that I also love is Centry. This is a hyaluronic acid watery sun gel, SPF 50, PA, quadruple plus as well. This has evidently no Y cast. It replenishes moisture and has eight types of hyaluronic acid. I really love Centry for their hyaluronic acid based products. They have an essence and a couple different ampules and toners that are really, really popular. And so this seems like an extension of that. And I've really been enjoying moisturizing sun protection since we're getting into a little bit of the cooler months and my dry skin is acting up so I'm excited to try this one as well. I've really been enjoying the hyaluronic acid watery sun gel from Isentre which is no surprise to me I kind of had a feeling I was really going to enjoy this and I really like this because it's super lightweight and it doesn't leave a white cast on my skin. You can kind of see what the thickness of it looks like. It's not overly thick and then as I Apply this onto my skin. It just feels really like weight. Doesn't feel like I really have anything on my skin. I know a lot of us don't wear sunscreens because we don't like the sticky, tacky feel of it. But as you can see, like how easy that is to work into my face. And we are done. <laughs> of course, I always apply some onto my neck and chest and really any areas that are exposed, my ears for example. Like I said, this is non-sticky and it doesn't feel like I'm walking around with like a mask of sunscreen on, so I'd highly recommend this. We have something I have tried, which is from Dalba. This is the first spray serum. Um, this actually features white truffle and this was 
I mean, I remember seeing this everywhere a couple years ago when it first came out. They have a couple of different variations of this, but this is the original one and I absolutely love it. I've made videos on this product specifically and how I've used it in different ways. And so I haven't used this in a bit. I'm excited to have my hands on this again. So thank you for sending this over. We have the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Haru Haru features a lot of rice or black rice specifically. It's supposed to be more nutrient dense and rich than the alternative, which is just white rice. And so this is something that I've tried a lot of Haru Haru actually. And I don't think I've actually tried this serum. How cute by the way, is their packaging? <laughs> Looks very high end to me. <sighs> Ooh, I'm seeing something I like already. We have from Skin1004 the Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. This is actually one of my favorite cleansing oils. I, again, have done like a full line review of this line from Skin1004. And so this, I'm wearing a lot of makeup lately and I am excited to have this back in my routine. So that was the last product that Style Vana sent me. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. As you guys probably saw throughout this video, I was inserting clips of me trying out the products or just using them in general to show you guys how they perform, what I like about them, and kind of giving you guys a brief little review on each. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I will go ahead and put links to everything in the description box below, including that discount code that I mentioned, which will also be here on screen. And thank you to Stylevana for sending this over, for partnering with me on this video. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.